My name's Luke, and this is the pre-production segment for After Hours, Episode 3, Storyboard to Shooting Order. In the last video, we talked about starting with a script and creating a shot list. From there, we moved into creating a storyboard. In this video, we're going to tackle creating an efficient shooting order from the shot list and how you can use the storyboards and overheads to make things more efficient for you and your crew. The goal during shooting is to move the camera as little as possible from setup to setup. On most shoots, if you were to simply shoot the storyboards in order, it can make for an extremely slow process. No matter the size of the budget, you'll end up spending loads of time moving the camera and resetting lighting over and over. So, you really want to organize shots in the order that is most efficient. Nine times out of ten, that means it's going to be out of order. That's why I like the storyboards. I can look at them and visually see, oh hey, we're not going to be in the right spot for this. In addition, they make it easy for me to organize my shooting order. To start the process, I print out the storyboards and cut each storyboard frame out. Then, I organize them in piles of similarity or proximity using what I already know about the location and how I want to move the camera. There is in fact a more efficient way to do this, and if you want to know more, I recommend the Complete Film Production Handbook, which goes way more in depth. You can find that in the description of this video. But for now, I'm going to show you the way I like to do this. I created a new column in my shot list spreadsheet so that I could match up the shot numbers with the setups. From there, I created an overall overhead in Photoshop using the floor plan of the location I was going to be shooting in. This allowed a literal bird's eye view of the logistics involved in moving lights and gear. This would have been setup number one. Just next to it is setup three, then four through 16 in the office. And of course, as you move down the hall, setups 18 through 31 and 33 through 35. Again, this represents the setup order of the camera, not the shot numbers. Generally, you would have an assistant director do this, but on low budget projects, you end up having to do it yourself. After compiling these two things together, I did overheads for each individual setup and matched those overheads with the storyboards in a booklet which I ended up printing out. In addition to the setup order and shot list, we had different pictures and a color palette at the beginning to represent the look and feel of the project we wanted. Therefore, on shooting days, it came to be known as the Project Bible, and why you do this is to help your crew and ensure the least amount of questions from shot to shot. So anytime a crew member comes to me and says, hey, what are we doing next? All I need to do is open this book and show them. You can go back to behind the scenes and you'll notice that I have that booklet in my hand at all times. The day of it made more sense for us to move the camera down this hallway right here. We shot down this hallway and end up going out this way and ignored the order. That's what's great about this. This level of preparation allows you to move through a shoot at a fast and efficient pace and communicate effectively with your crew and in some cases, rearrange your setups the day of, like we did. And of course, if you want to know more about this topic, feel free to leave a comment below. Check out my Patreon in the description and subscribe for more BTS content. I look forward to talking about the camera, grip, and electric order in the next video. See you soon.